Kidney cancer is one of the top 10 most common cancers in both men and women. The exact cause of kidney cancer is unknown. However, certain risk factors include smoking, which increases the risk almost two to three times. Obesity, which is also associated with about a 1.5 times risk of kidney cancer. Exposure to certain chemicals like nickel and cadmium and also certain genetic disorders which may be associated with a higher risk of kidney cancer. Today, the vast majority of kidney cancers, almost 60 to 70 percent, are diagnosed incidentally when an ultrasound or CT scan is done for certain unrelated complaints. These are basically incidentally detected tumors and they have an excellent survival and prognosis when appropriately treated. Small kidney masses or small renal masses can be removed completely by surgery. This is known as a partial nephrectomy where we remove only the mass leaving the rest of the kidney intact. This allows us to preserve renal function to the maximum because the entire kidney does not need to be removed. Generally, for tumors less than 4 cm, partial nephrectomy is the treatment of choice. Certain larger tumors, even up to 7 or 8 cm, can also be removed by partial nephrectomy if their location is favorable and the rest of the kidney is unaffected. Partial nephrectomy today is done in an excellent way by the robotic approach. This allows us to minimize bleeding and the patient's recovery is much faster and they are able to return to work and discharge from the hospital much quicker. The classic way of discovering kidney tumors in the past was in patients who presented with pain in the flank or the kidney region, blood in their urine and a palpable or a lump which could be felt through the skin. These are actually much larger kidney tumors and these may require the removal of the entire kidney. This is known as a radical nephrectomy. In the past, we used to have to make a big incision through the rib in order to remove the complete kidney. Today, with the laparoscopic or robotic approach, this can be done in a minimally invasive fashion and the kidney is then removed through a smaller incision lower down in the patient's abdomen, which is much less painful and allows them again a much speedier recovery. More advanced tumors which include kidney tumors which have a thrombus in the vein or a clot in the vein and even larger tumors like T3 and T4 tumors, they can also be done with a minimally invasive approach especially with robotic surgery which allows us excellent magnification, control of bleeding and allows the patient to recover faster. Removal of any part or the whole of the kidney always has an impact on the patient's renal function. India being the diabetes and blood pressure capital of the world, we are always worried about how our surgery is going to impact the patient's long-term outcome in terms of their kidney function. Which is why for smaller and more favorable, even larger tumors, we try to just remove the tumor alone, leaving the rest of the kidney intact. However, in larger and complex tumors, the whole kidney may need to be removed. And luckily, we are born with two kidneys and therefore the other kidney is able to take over the function of the missing one. Close monitoring of the renal function is required. And in those with pre-existing diseases like diabetes and blood pressure, we may recommend follow up with a nephrologist as well in order to optimize the kidney function. Chemotherapy and radiation are generally not required in kidney cancers. Certain targeted or immunotherapies may be needed after surgery, especially in those who have aggressive tumors or lymph node positive disease. If you found this video beneficial, please like and share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.